Hello everyone! Here we are for our third battle of the No Ban List Pauper Showdown series. This time against my co-host of the tournament, Ponders. Uh, match 1 will be my high tide against his Delver. Match 2 uh, is my storm against his mono black. Alright, hand looks pretty good. Let's keep. This, however, is the nightmare matchup for us. Delver really, really hard to beat with so many of their uh, free counter spells, plus high tide being symmetrical, which actually hurts us quite a bit in this matchup. But uh, I'm tr gonna try not to complain too much and go for the win if I can. So. Okay, I mean, uh, technically we have the combo, right? So uh, high tide plus mm, Clado fairies. Uh, no, actually we don't have the flicker, right? Yeah. In that case, I actually think I will shuffle these. As much as I would like the Archimancer. But uh, knowing then I have two bricks in there, that's not good enough for me. It flips with a cruise. He knows what we are up to. We could technically try to go off next turn if he like taps out somehow. I don't think he will do that. Uh, he knows better, but uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Interesting choice too. Um, get back the already flipped Delver. Uh, leads me to believe that he probably has a free counter spell in hand. Otherwise, I can't really see him dropping shields this way. And uh, if we're trying to go off now, even if he doesn't have counters, the fizzle rate is relatively high at this point. So. Uh, I think I'll just go for a ponder here. Uh, let's see where this gets us. Again, I, I don't think this is good enough. Like, I would like one island, but uh, two islands is a bit much and the snap doesn't do much for us now. Shuffle. Alright, preordain. Yeah, he has the free interaction. As expected, so... Uh, might as well F6 through his turn, um, because that deck lists are public and he knows I don't have anything I can do right here when tapped out. It's the loot, discards uh, one of the two treasure cruises he has. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Could try and go for the snap. Mm, maybe bait a counter that way. I wouldn't mind baiting counter on snap. Would rather bait counter on snap than on. Merchant scroll. Okay.
So let's see, this is his turn four, right? So he's also missing land drops as I am discarding another ninja. Uh, do we try to dig for the land here? I think we do. So we've got one turn before these beats get us. Uh, alternatively, could try and go for the snap. But uh, if he counters that, that's not ideal either. Hmm. I think I have to try and spike the land here. We're in a dire spot. Island, come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I think my plan is to try and giga drowse him in the end step and go for something next turn. Looks like the plan. Or do I giga drowse on upkeep? I think there's actually an argument to Giga Draus on his upkeep on the two islands. Yeah, I'll do that. No, because if, if he days this one of them, it's pretty bad. Okay, sure. Uh, hmm. This could, could let us cast the snap on Delver if we want. But I'm not sure. That's what we want to do. He cannot kill us next turn, right? It's six damage as is, seven with a single ninja. He can't, yeah. So I'll just go for end step he got draws. Hope he doesn't draw and oh, of course he does, okay. He could cruise here if he wants. In that case, I think I'll Giga Drowse in response. And the thing is now, yeah, if he has a snap, he just untaps the land. Yeah, <laughs> this is why this matchup is so tough. So, I don't know. Maybe Giga Drowsing on upkeep would have been better. But uh, I think he already had the snap, most likely. Uh, so he has the ferry for the for our high tide, but we can snap the ferry then. That's kind of a cheesy play. All right. I mean, I have to go for it, right? So let's see. So sprite resolves. We snap sprite. If he counters, we lose. Gushes. Okay, so tries to find a foil or already has a foil and uh, needs the island to discard. Days we can pay for. Even though it hurts, since that's uh, an island we don't have for Gush. Okay, snap resolves. Huh. 
Okay. How do we do this? I think we go for the cloud, then merchant score four. Maybe gush. And then Frenic Search gives us one less mana. Uh, this is tough. I'm not sure if there's a line that wins here. Because we miss both Archaeomancer and Flicker. Yeah, so I can't see doing this without gushing. Not great. We already played our land, so uh, yeah, we still frantic. Okay, we can discard the islands safely. Untap our islands, so we have five mana. There's the Manser. We could Manser for. I think we have it, right? Yeah, because we can Mancer, get back Merchant Scroll, get... Uh... Yeah, we have it. So... Just making sure we have enough mana for all that. Uh, this is nine, so do we need to uh, play the other cloud? So we go to five here, uh, get merchant scroll. No, we don't need to play the cloud. Merchant scroll, scroll for the flicker. Okay, we can yield to these. And now we've got infinite mana loop, flickering these two. Once we make infinite mana, uh, we can then rebuy the merchant scroll to get our cap size and cap size buyback on our Archaeomancer uh, to, to then rebuy any cantrip, draw our deck, get a second Archaeomancer for more mana or click efficiency, and find the compelling argument for the win. All right. Oof, that, that was tough. Uh, didn't think we were gonna get there, but... Uh, that was good. We we've got this one. So let's see how do we board here. So you can see, uh, Giga Drows is kind of medium there in face of their snaps. Uh, so I wonder if I'm even to bother with that one. Uh, I definitely wanted to dispel. And I'm thinking of Gutshot against uh, against his fairies. Because he he only plays eight fairies in his list, right? It's the Fairy Seer and the Spellstutter. 
and like the play we fear most is spells that are on our high tide. And Gutshot answers that kind of nicely. So thinking about this, maybe model is a little expensive. Uh, I'm not sure. Snap, as you saw, wasn't bad there. Snapping the spell stutter was kind of a... Uh, what won us that game, so... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to side some of these out. can probably cut, like, a single preordain. And... Uh, Yeah, okay, I'll cut the model. One more cut. Game. This deck really sideboards poorly. It's so difficult to sideboard. Okay, I'll trade some gut shots for snap. Does that even make sense? It doesn't even make too much sense, right? So maybe I'll just go super minimal sideboarding like this. Go maybe a free spell for another free spell, yeah. Although of course the information from probe can be valuable. But yeah. Huh. This hand is pretty slow. I'm not sure if, like, yeah, I think this is quite slow. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try to go for faster. Uh, one lander, but uh, it has a lot of the stuff we need, so I think that's good enough. Get one score out. Okay, I'll try and preordain here. Really just need the land. Spurtly. I don't think he's supposed to daze this. That would be quite aggressive. Oh, lands. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Passes with potential sprite open, so I'm more inclined to either leave up impulse or try to merchant scroll for something. And I think I'd rather impulse first. And I'll try to do that on his upkeep. Or if he's spriting now, I guess I impulse now. Sure, makes sense, right? There's this nothing we can do. And so does a ninja come up? Or what's the plan? Okay, that's the second fairy, so I don't think got charts or snaps will be as great of a protection anymore. Goes for ninja. Hmm. Again, leads me to believe he probably has uh, a free counter spell. I'm gonna try to ponder first, or do I? Maybe I actually compelling argument first, just to see if I draw a land from this. I don't. Uh, okay, let's. Ponder first. If you could daze here. I guess that was the risk of starting with compelling argument. Hmm. 
seems to be thinking about it, so I will have to try to play under, around the days. But this hand is good. Okay. Uh, so let's go High Tide Ponder Island, but we do want all of these. No shuffles, and let's just uh, speed up the process of drawing them with this preordain. Top, top, gonna hide the fact that I have high tides on top in case uh, he goes for git probe this turn. So he has the sprite, right? Uh, I think I'll ponder and see if he sprites that. Or do I scroll and see if he sprites that? But what are, what are we scrolling for even? Like a gush? Oh my gosh, could be sweet. No, I think I'll start with... Hmm. No, I'll start with the scroll. Okay. Uh, hardcore counter spell. All right. Probably has a daze, right? We figured, but uh, I'll play it into it anyway. Uh, it's possible we should have been bringing. Uh, one or two treasure cruises in this matchup because like even when setting up we're trading a lot of spells so you can see the graveyards fills up quite nicely so if we go to game three I th i'm thinking of some uh, some cruises goes for a gush oh interesting that's usually a kind of a desperation play to gush during the opponent's turn and foils the ponder. That's pretty aggressive. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what that means. Also discarded the sprite we knew of. Uh, so his hand is four unknowns at this point. Yeah, this is scary because he's setting up his hand. Whoa, di discarding a foil. Oof. Scary, scary stuff. I think I'm gonna get probe, but I think I'm gonna get probe for mana. As the two life could easily mean the one turn off the clock. Counter spells that. Okay. Okay, okay. Note that uh, we only miss a Cloud of Fairies for infinite mana. But he could easily have three counter spells in his hand at this point. Uh, well, 
nothing we can do really. Yeah. I mean, we could technically high tide, flicker our lands, Archaeomancery by a cantrip, but this really thin. My chances are better if I wait. And thing is, we could be dead next turn, depending on whether or not the Delver flips. Huh. I'm afraid if we high tide, the chances of that we encountered are like 99.49%. <laughs> uh, huh. Could try to bait a car on snap. It also buys us the turn. Could try to snap in his upkeep even. But I don't know if mana is a limit for him at this point. Hmm, I'll go for the upkeep snap. Yeah. Doing that before we know <laughs> whether Delver is flipping or not. Because if he doesn't, then he doesn't really have much reason to fight over this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I guess if, even if he doesn't flip, he could still win with a ninja. So that's that. But uh, there's only two ninjas left, I believe. No, there's all three ninjas left, hackers. No flips. Is there the ninja? No ninja. That most likely means he has this two color spells in hand, and I don't think there's much we can do about that. Uh, <laughs> we would have to probe for mana. Given we are to one, uh, let's try the high tide. Oh wow! High tide works. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, huh. Hmm. Curious. Okay, I'm gonna get probe for mana first. So we need the card anyway, right? <laughs> What is it? Snap. Uh, <laughs> okay, snap. Snap can disrupt us. Uh, so, what do we do here? Hmm. So, we could. I mean, uh, we could try my plan earlier was to maybe snap one of, the, one of his creatures to make more mana myself, but he, then he can snap uh, in response to fizzle our snap so that we don't get to untap. Uh, we could flicker two lands, but that is only one extra blue, so that's not much. I think we have to scroll for something, and I'm... Deciding on whether that's uh, Gush or Phrenic Search. Technically, I think one of these Archaeomancers is not necessary. But uh, with Gush, we can also replay one of the islands, right? We have not played a land yet this turn. So I think it's Gush. Although that makes our future frenetic searches worse. 
Hmm. It's close. It's close, but I think it's Gash. Spell Pierce Giga Drowse. Hmm. Only have three mana though. Hmm. And did not draw more mana, notably. Huh. Spell Pierce is so bad here because uh yeah, that does not card a snap. Dang. We could flicker our lands and uh, go to four mana. Giga draws his island. Hmm. Not good. Not very good. I don't know. I think I just have to like hope he does not see the line. To snap his own delver now. But he sees it, of course. Oh, and his islands, <laughs> by the way, also tap for double mana. So, yeah, that's that. We don't have enough mana to continue. Unfortunate. Yeah. I wonder whether I was supposed to, uh, to go for the frantic search instead. We would have had more mana this way, but uh, less cards, so I don't know. I guess we'll never know. I was wanting to bring some Crisis. One or two, potentially. Spellbeard Spell seemed kind of garbage there. I'll just side it out completely. Uh, I still kept the one Giga Drowse, right? I think it's nice to have access to have uh, in the Merchant Scroll package. And uh, what else do we cut? I mean, we could technically cut <laughs> the, the win condition. Uh, but uh, I don't want to be this cheesy, so... Or we could just bring the one cruise, of course. It's also an option, but I think I like the cruises. I would like to try them out. So maybe give up another preordain. Or the snap. Uh. I'll try with the preordain out. We're on the play. Hmm, the hand seems capable. It's not the most exciting. It's not horrible either. Notably, no turn one play. I mean, we sided out a couple cantrips, so I guess I can't complain about that. He's really pondering his hand. Mm, just to mulligan to six. So I guess question is that we, what do we go with uh, with this merchant scroll for? I think it's probably gonna be like impulse, gush, frenic search, some variation thereof. All right, let's go. Ends up with a six card hand. But thought about it for a while, so uh, let's see how good it is. 
Uh, I'm not gonna get shot. And I'm kind of questioning whether I should be even siding, siding this in or not. Uh, I went not quite what we wanted. I'm gonna scroll here. He did this. Okay, aggressive. Uh, I'm gonna pass, and if he ninjas, I will get shot the ninja. Nope. All right. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I'm gonna go for the Manchon score. Uh, for a, no, he only has one island, so he cannot have like a sprite. So I'm gonna start with probe then. Dispel gush sprite, sanctuary and island. Okay. So we are good to go for this scroll. We have high tide cloud. So looking for Mancer and Flicker uh, for the combo. Mm, but I think before I'm getting the Flicker, I should, should just get more raw card draw. Yeah, he does not have a fast clock. So I think I'll just get the guy here. There's a Delver. I mean, we could get a Delver, but I would really prefer not to. But then, what am I even like saving this gutshot for? I guess if we go for like a two drop and he tries to sprite it. Hmm. Doesn't seem great. Actually gonna give it a turn before I gush. And I'll gut shot in his upkeep again before he before he's flipping. And I got wanna gush next turn so that I can then play the Archaeomancer and uh, protect myself from days. Whoa! I did not expect him spriting this. Hmm. That means he could just win next turn. Okay, so Sanctuary Sprite. Yeah, so we know of... Wait, do we know his hand? Uh, let me double check here. Yeah, I think he, we know his exact hand. So... Yeah. <laughs> Probably uh, meant to attack with both. I don't know what happened there. But I don't think this game will be decided by that one point of damage. Uh, because I think I'll just try to go off here. Ooh, Chris. Okay. So yeah, uh, I mean, he can still gush into a foil. That would be the nightmare scenario, I think. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, while he stepped out, I see my chance, right? It's not guaranteed, but uh, we're here for it, right? Okay, he gushes in response. 
as expected. High tide resolves, so probably uh, coast is clear. He could still have gut shots from his sideboard. So uh, I'll keep that in mind. Let's start with a gush. Can replay one of these islands. Uh, six cards in our yard. Hmm, we could. Uh, we could ferries, snap ferries here to add even one more to, to get more mana and so we can delve more. A uh, little bit of a trouble is that. Uh, Actually, do we need to do that? Wait, we can, hmm, because we can mentor for Merchant Scroll and get the, get our thing. Uh, we could also try to snap his creature, <laughs> see if that works, if we need that. Okay, let me see. So, mentor into Merchant Scroll. Uh, Play Cloud of Fairies on tap, so we have six mana. Then Cloud of, then uh, Scroll and uh, Flicker on our two guys, but then we only have one mana left, so we don't have snap protection. So I think I'll actually try to snap now on his creature and try to bait the gut shot here. Uh, he seems f6, so I think we should be good to go here. Uh, I guess technically we should have cruised first. Let me cruise now, uh, leaving just the merchant scroll, right? That's enough. So we'll be at six, then we mansur, we are at two mana plus four, that's six mana. Uh, that's enough to scroll and flicker, yeah. And we just find the flicker here. Okay. Okay, we got it. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Did not expect did not expect to win this match. Wow, that was really tough. Glad we are playing on the long clock. I used a lot of my time and would have used even more if uh, I had to go through the loop, which he was kindly to concede. But yeah, we, we would have made it in time, yeah. Still, all right, uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, and here we are. Uh, match two against Ponderous, Storm versus mono black uh, yeah I mean I'm keeping this for sure so one thing to note is version is very discard heavy uh, so we might as well not have a relay uh, when we untap, or whatever he chooses to take. He could also, like, the dark night mercenary would be like dark, dark ritual into more stuff. Uh, okay, but doesn't go for anything. And yeah, I mean, I will just go for it while I have the chance, right? So 
Let's see what we are working with first. Uh, okay, there is the Dares. Okay, so interestingly enough, he chose mm, to just go for the land that taps for two mana instead of stripping us with Dares on turn one. Uh, okay, so how do we do this? Mm, so we could sag this, go Cabal Ritual into star, uh, make red for Ride of Flames, or we could just tap this, play the Ride of Flames, we're at uh, four mana, right? Yeah, we're at four mana, mm, play star, yeah, like either way we cannot sack the star to the dispute, right? No, we can't. Yeah, so let's see, four mana, three mana, uh, four mana, so three black, one red. Uh, then we reckless impulse and hope to spike any mana and then relay. Alternatively, the start with Cabal Ritual uh, was uh, three mana here, go to two mana, and then go to uh, one black and two red and four red. Yeah, so this is this is safer. So I will I will sag this. Uh, let's go Cabal Ritual. Star, make red. Okay. Uh, think I'll be blowing all the rituals anyway, but uh, maybe we can start with impulse or ah, let's just blow it off. Uh, so we've got five mana, there's another impulse, so sure, I think I play that. Uh, cannot quite keep going, but uh, we have our land drop and relay. So that seems pretty good to me. Yeah, he can discard us now all, all he wants. Yeah, that's the way you play around this card, right? <laughs> Just empty your hand on turn two. Sure. So, can we win? Let's see. Yeah, we definitely can win. And there's nothing in his main deck uh, he can do with the empty tokens, game one. So uh, we're good to storm off here. And yeah, he, he sees the line, well, we've got plenty of storm, then we play double first day of class and empty or whatever we like, and it's way overkill, yeah. Uh, sideboarding. So notably, he has Echoing Decay, so that can technically deal with the empty. Mm. He only has two of them though, and like, if we have like double first day of class, it doesn't even deal with the empty. So, question is, do we want to bring the grape shots in instead, or like in addition to the em empty, or are we fine just uh, just taking the risk of him drawing one of the two echoing decay? Hmm. 
I think honestly I'm probably better off uh, taking the risk of echoing decay. It's like we can also like go off multiple times, you know, uh, with this relay build. So uh, I don't think there's actually sideboarding required on our side. But yeah, he has echoing decay, also arms of Hadar, but that is a sorcery. And our empty tokens will, will most likely be hasty. Okay, so probably takes the empty. Would imagine, yeah. Let go. Okay, strips more cards. Takes the star. Good pick, I think. Hmm. All right. So I don't think I want to try anything. So it's just too low of a chance to hit something with this one redraw we have. Ugh, time walk rats. Okay. Yeah, that was strong. Uh, still don't think this changes my mind. Because, like, technically we are in, not in that much of a hurry. Oh well. This is a tough one. Hmm. Yeah, so question is, is our position getting better or worse. So technically we have uh, 4 mana, 5, 6, 7 mana, uh, minus 2 first day, so that's 5 mana, minus 3 uh, if we do the colorless preordain or whatever it's called. Uh, that would be, that would leave us with 2 mana, 1 black, 1 red. Huh. I don't know, like he'll just keep keep discarding more and more cards. Uh if he if we keep passing the turn. So I'm not sure this gets better. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm afraid. Mm, yeah. So let's sag this and go for the morphos. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Black red. Get a land. Uh, okay, that's not horrible. Let's go. Ritual, ritual. First day. Into an expensive preordain. And yeah, pop this now. And there's a wow, that's really good. Top top. One, two, three. Look at your hand, relay. <laughs> he did not have more discard, okay. But we'll have seven, fresh new seven, next turn to try and do something with that. So Angler, Angler, Thorn. As it is now, he cannot cast any of those. If he drew a land, he could cast any one of those. But it doesn't help him disrupt us in any way. I think he probably drew like a discard spell. Or yeah, I, I, I'm not sure what he's thinking about here.
Okay, ritual helps for sure. So yeah, we're gonna try to go as far as we can. mana. Uh, oh. Do we want to play the star? Like, we risk if we don't draw a mana source. Or actually, do we? No, this is only, this costs effectively two mana, so we can still empty even if we don't draw rituals. Okay, I'm sold. So, dispute of, of, oh, wait. Pay the black, dispute of of star. Okay, we drew all more mana, that's good. Mm, let's get red. Uh, let's see, so... Nine, ten mana we have? Okay. Uh, I think for the star, I'll get a blue in case we draw treasure cruise. Uh, I'll keep. Uh, did I say blue? Yeah, let's go blue. Mm, okay. That's fine though, right? So the remaining question is do we wanna uh do we wanna empty again? Yeah, I think so. I think if he has the echoing decay or arms of Adar, we lose anyway. So I'll just empty again, make sure we get the kill next turn. No decay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That is it then. Uh, Storm emerges uh, victorious against uh, Mono Black Discard. Uh, stay tuned for more No Ban List Pauper Showdown series and have a good day.